after discovering femininity, the world of femininity, the community of women who help others discover that femininity, I kind of kept it a secret for a few years. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you have the chance to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, like my video, I am incredibly, incredibly grateful. It means so much to me. I am extremely smiling right now because I am just excited to share all of, the, all of my thoughts and all of my videos with you. So today I wanted to talk to you about a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. Honestly, to preface this, a few years ago I discovered this topic amidst Google searches trying to fix my life. After several mental breakdowns, uh, burnout, <laughs> and a few prescriptions, I really was at a low place. I was operating more from that masculine sort of energy, so that pushy energy, that hustling energy, that energy that caused me to want to be a leader at all costs. I'm not saying you shouldn't want to be a leader as a woman, as a feminine woman, but what I'm saying is that continuously operating from that dominant leadership and pushy sense of being is going to burn you out because you are going to have to completely shut out that more feminine, soft, caring, and nurturing part. I want you to think about the feminine woman as a very caring woman, as a woman who pours her heart and soul and her personality into caring for others, into caring for herself, and into caring for her home. So that has to deal with the whole topic of caring, and like I mentioned, caring for her home. After discovering femininity, the world of femininity, the community of women who help others discover that femininity, I kind of kept it a secret for a few years. I didn't really tell anybody, but it started to cause my personality to change a little bit for the better. It altered my perspective on life and it changed my relationships. And I notice when I become more stressed out, when I become a person who operates more from that dominant energy, I lose that magnetism. I am not saying that you should neglect your goals and completely put aside your tendency to want to be a leader. Like I said, I'm just saying that you need to make some room for femininity because it is a biologically and it is spiritually programmed in the most of us. I am making a generalization, but chances are that you fall into that category of women who would benefit from trying to exert that more feminine side of yourself. I'm going to start with a few ways that you can begin to embrace your femininity as an overarching and dominant woman. So the first thing I want you to do is to begin to operate in flow. So flow means rewriting the internal dialogue that you have in your head. Flow means learning to live in the moment and to really be present in your body. Ways that you can do this, practical things that you can start to do today would be to engage in activities that help you be present in your body. So I'm thinking walking outside in nature and really taking the time to look around, to feel the wind in your hair or on your neck, whatever, and to soak in all of the colors. I also want you to begin a inter internal dialogue in your mind thinking what is the worst thing that could happen if i don't do this thing today this thing that i'm worried about today or in this moment or what's the worst thing that can happen if i delay that thing that i'm obsessing over essentially and you will be surprised that when you start rewriting your internal dialogue and coming up with the worst thing that could happen it really isn't that bad and it's probably unrealistic and it won't happen now the next thing that I want you to do is incorporate thoughtfulness in your daily life. Deliberately incorporate thoughtfulness because until you get to the point of operating in a balanced way between your feminine and your dominant masculine energy, you will not be able to automatically do this. So you need to think about the love languages or the languages of thoughtfulness of the people in your daily life. So I am thinking, do the people in your life, the people who matter most to you, do they value acts of service? Do they value quality time? Do they value words? You need to discover that and you need to take a few minutes every day or at least every few days to do something that adheres to that language of thoughtfulness, that language of love when interacting with the people in your life. Remember, femininity has to do with caring. 
So when you care for others, you are activating that biological, that spiritual essence of feminine power. And without getting into the list of many things that I could also add, I wanted to finish off by talking about caring for yourself. The process of physically doing something for yourself each and every day. So that could mean a lot of different things for different people. For me, that has to do with drying my hair, that has to do with always putting lipstick on or always having lipstick available when I am out and about or even in my home really. The process of caring for yourself is going to adhere to that feminine essence because you are essentially practicing that ritual of pouring into yourself and you cannot it sounds very cheesy but you cannot pour into others you cannot pour into your relationships you cannot pour into your home you cannot pour into anything that you, any goal that you're trying to achieve appropriately from a balanced perspective a balance between feminine and your dominant energy without caring for yourself i wanted to finish off by saying that we are all unique and different individuals have different balances of that more dominant masculine energy and feminine energy. So I'm not saying you should completely let go of that other side of yourself. I am just saying that you cannot completely operate from that perspective for your entire life without being burnt out. Just like anything in this world, you need to seek balance, the perfect balance for yourself. That might be different for you than it is for somebody else. But the whole point of this video is that you cannot neglect that other side of yourself and feel like a completely whole and healthy person. I wanted to say again, thank you for watching my videos. I hope you will stay tuned, subscribe. I have a lot of content coming your way and I would love, love, love that you join me on this journey. See you next time.